Hey y'all, uh, Matt and I just finished a workout and uh, before it gets cooled down, just wanted to take a, a moment to use this as a teaching opportunity, uh, go over uh, an efficient way to move a barbell, maybe when we're cycling a lot of reps. Um, I'm gonna have Matt show you how he was doing his shoulder to overhead and then uh, we're gonna break that down. Get it, Matt. Okay, so Matt just did three awesome shoulder overheads. I, I thought that was great technique. Did drive, pushes underneath it, but we just finished a workout with five rounds of 15 shoulder overhead at 135 pounds. That's, that's very sub-maximal for Matt, and we can actually move the bar a little bit more efficiently than the way he was doing it. Okay, okay so what Matt was doing, he had this really good technique, straight up and down, drove the bar up, went wide and spread, so he could get underneath the bar a little bit faster. And that's a great technique if Matt's going for a one rep max. But what happened over the reps and reps and reps that we had to do, we did over 60 reps of shoulder and overhead, was that in that last round, Matt was really unstable because he was pushing underneath the bar so fast, it was giving him the squirrels. So he was kind of chasing the bar around, although it was going overhead, that actual jerk of the bar was causing him to run and chase the bar a little bit. So a little bit, a little tweak that we can do is just have Matt Go ahead and start his feet out a little bit wider and try to stay a little more connected to the bar. What I mean by that is on his jerk, he was dipping and throwing the bar up so high that when he caught, the bar was actually still moving up and he was kind of catching it with a little bit of squirrely action. So by going a little bit wider, dipping and driving himself under the bar, he could stay connected to the bar the whole time. He doesn't have to move his feet. He just brings it right back down into his dip, pushes underneath it. So he's not really worried about how high the bar is going more focused on pushing himself underneath the ball. Okay? Let's see Matt try it that way. Drop it through again, Matt. Yeah, much better. You can see Matt moved that bar way faster, way more efficient, and probably could have got the workout a little bit faster that way, maybe save some energy there for the end. Alright? Appreciate y'all.